Okay, welcome. Uh, this video is going to be about shapes, volume, and solving the lotus puzzle. I'm also going to describe some stuff about that bottom picture in a little bit. And as always, there'll be some problems that you'll have to do, maybe a few surprises. Enjoy the video. Today, I'm super excited to present to you the lotus puzzle. This puzzle is a level 10. This puzzle was originally created in 1979 by Will Strabos, and it has now been readapted and re engineered into this beautiful metal structure. There are a lot of steps in order to open this puzzle. And the secrets go deeper and deeper as you open every piece within. The box when purchasing this does forewarn you that unless you can explain why this puzzle is called the Lotus Puzzle, then you have not successfully solved it. Looking forward to it, obviously very daunting as well as with every level 10 puzzle. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it. Uh, hopefully for you guys, we'll be able to solve that today. So guys, before we get to the video, uh, please like this video, subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification buttons, and we will begin solving the Lotus puzzle let's go all right let's get the timer out not gonna forget today ladies and gentlemen before we begin this little uh this little box here reads to do this you need to remove an aluminum circular disc with a rod running through the center until you understand the reason for the name it can be said that you have not solved the puzzle there are many many steps in this puzzle many small parts no banging no tapping no external tools no force in any way just enjoy the puzzle and find the secrets of the lotus flower sounds simple enough so before we go before we begin here this is this is a really well crafted puzzle this is like heavy super heavy i love these type of things you notice here there's like a dovetail opening on either side you also have this little pinhole with like a little thing here um, and then you have this nail and the cylinder holding it now at first this kind of reminds me of that old sort of possible object with the nail things first is to get this out this here you can see the pin actually through here through that hole um, try to see if there's any like markings on the pin or anything anything strange nothing that i can see and obviously it doesn't fit through this hole here so let's try just rotating and turning that slowly maybe if i rub the nail along this part here while i just rotate this does seem to be some hidden features in here, and you can tell it's kind of, there's a lot of clinking sounds and clunking sounds, a lot going on in this little puzzle. You can actually, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but if I tilt it down, there's a coin, you can't see it here actually, but there's a coin in here, you can briefly see that little coin, I'm guessing that's part of what's making this sound. There seems to be more than just that making a sound, because if I hold these two things tight, there seems to be more than one thing jiggling around in there. Okay. So my guess is this piece unhinges, um, probably somehow held by this. I don't know what this is for yet, but this is probably holding this somehow. Well, right here, I'm feeling like a small bit of resistance. Like if I go like this, watch, look, the nail gets stuck. So there's, there's some joint, there's something here, uh, some notch or joint or something holding this, and it'll always feel, it always feels like it's magnetic, right there. Do you hear that? A little click, yeah, there. What if I line up the uh, circular thing with it? Honestly, there's no way this nail is coming out of that side, so unless there's maybe a notch in the cylinder, they gotta put the nail through. It's turning, but it's not doing anything. If I unscrew it, see again, look. Do you hear that? There's like a clicking mechanism right here. The lotus. <laughs> the lo this is the furthest thing from a lotus flower, by the way. Like, if you were to put two objects together that are that are like the most opposite would be a lotus flower in this puzzle. There's no seams on here, like if this part could come off, that would be yeah. great. And I can't use any tools, like I see this little button here, but I can't use any tools to push that down, so that's probably not. Something here, and there's this clicking. I always gotta look closer at these things. Little details matter. Maybe the top of this. 
this nail unscrews. Ooh, maybe that's it. That would be actually pretty smart if this top part unscrewed. Nope. So I hear this like clicking. Hear it? And it's around, it's around this part here. When I push up against the ring right here, there's a resistance. So he's made a little bit of a breakthrough. Let's take a look at some problems now. Let me go back to the videos here. Okay, extend this up. Hopefully you can see it better. All right, so our first questions are gonna be right here, A and B. There's some stuff to help you remember that. You classify triangles by their first and last name. You have sides and angles. Oh, I spelled right wrong. Right. There you go. By sides and angles. So take a look at uh, triangle A and triangle B and make sure you say their first and last name. Okay, let's look at one more problem. And we'll get back to the video, see if you can solve that puzzle. So here's a shape, this shape right there. That shape can be many different things. Polygon, quadrilateral, parallelogram, square, rectangle, rhombus, trapezoid. But only a few apply, but more than one, I promise. So name all of the names that apply to classify that triangle, okay? All right, let's get back to the video. This was that clicking noise I heard on the inside. Was this piece here magnetized. Now that we've done that, this bottom part has to come off. And the first instinct I have is something, do you guys remember the chess piece? Aniyama puzzles, well on the pawn, uh, this piece here would have to screw back in and I'm thinking that fits perfectly, why not try and screw that in here. Okay, doesn't seem to do anything. This little pen here. I, I, like this is the only logical thing that I see here. Let's take a look at the last math problem you're gonna to have to do here. Slide this back up, kind of like magic. All right, so volume. Remember volume, whoops. 
volume can do a couple of things. Volume can be length times width times height, or it can be base times height, which is really the area times height. So you're gonna have two questions here for number three. How many cubic units is the base layer? And what is the total volume? All right, let's get back to the video. Look at this, check this out. When I, this is interesting. When I push this in, look at that. So what if I use this and this? Oops, so this first. I'm gonna put this back. And now, what if I just push it through? No, that won't work. Screw this in. Now it gives me a little bit extra. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, absolutely not. It doesn't give me anything extra. So as I said, this piece bounces with this. Beep, beep. It's like a button. Let's try using this and pushing this in. Come on now. And then screwing this. There we go. Still nothing. Huh. There is a button down there, though. It's got like a button thing, so. Hmm. Okay, I, I still firmly believe that this and this should happen because there is a button mechanism in there and that has to be done now how to unlock this part i thought pushing down on this or screwing that in tightly would somehow unlock this but i do do you guys hear this what does that remind you of does that remind you of anything this actually reminds me of the spin puzzle so here i'll give you an example this is a puzzle box that had these nails and in order to open it you had to use uh Let's talk a little bit about this picture. So this was a picture from last year. Whoops, not that one. This one was a picture from last year from one of the Shark Tank ideas. This was Angel Angelica's Angel Drops. Now why this was such an amazing thing, no, she not did not just for Shark Tank go buy this. Her mom had a haircut place and she was already doing this as like a side business. So at her mom's haircut place, she already had this candy machine, but it was hers, like it's a totally official one. And she was doing something that is the best kind of money you can make, and that's called passive income. Can you say that to yourself? Passive income. What that means is when you set something up and you just make money by basically doing nothing. So think of how she makes money in this candy machine. Yes, she has to take the time to get the candy, and once a month, put it inside of this candy machine. And once a month, she needs to collect all the coins. But that's all. She just gets the, the money just appears, kind of. Now, of course, her mom lets her have it at the shop. And it's a high traffic area where a lot of people go. Um, so for a Shark Tank idea, she just wanted to tell me about this. But it was already a great idea. So she made this little sign. And she named her business Angelica's Angel Drops. You can see her logo there with the angel halo on the angel drops and uh, I guess she makes up to like 50 to 80 dollars a month passive income 
that's profit. Um, and she's said she's using it to save it for college or for her um, softball trip. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right, back to the video. Gap it out. Dig in the collars. With it. Now. No wait. This side. See? 
Black National Treasure right now. This is unbelievable. And I love how they give you like this crappy little coin, this, this stupid little coin. And they're like, oh, here you go. You won with a little flower on it. it can, it's very deceiving. God, I'm so happy I didn't stop there. Because this, look at that. That's the real treasure, not this decoy. Oh, <laughs> I can't explain the awesome. with myself. Super proud of you, Chris. This is <laughs> All right. Before we close out this video, I'm gonna try some. I don't know if this is gonna work. But if I use my camera, oh, those are my feet. How do I close this? I just wanna show you guys my kitty. Alright. That's my cat. Actually both my cats. That would be Snapple. That's Nippers. Nippers! Nippers, do you like that Snapple? Say hi to the class. Okay guys, thanks for watching.